Okay, today we're going to be showing why the sky is red at night and red in the morning. And it's extremely simple and it's based on the rainbow. Um, as you can see from the picture, I've overlaid a rainbow over where the sun shines on the earth. As the earth rotates, this rainbow, which we can't see because it's up in the, in the atmosphere, it's too big, um, this rainbow stays where the sun's light is and then the earth rotates. So if you go to the east of the picture you will see red. If you go to the north you will see blue and if you go to the west you will see red because the upper end of the spectrum is red so it will be on the outside and all rainbows are red on the edge because that's the spectrum. So as the earth rotates where you are standing you will slowly slide around until all you see is red but that's why it fades through yellow orange red every time you have a sunset so there we go very easy to explain why we have a red sunset it's based on the spectrum and the very fact that due to water in the atmosphere there is a rainbow up there you just can't see it. it's too big we only see it at night because that's when the red part of the spectrum is directly in our line of sight. And uh, there could be some that will sit there and go, well, no, I don't believe that. That's fine. Um, but it says exactly the same thing in the Bible. This again goes back to my uh, videos on voltage drop. God said after the last voltage drop, which flooded the planet and collapsed the core, God said, I will put my rainbow in the sky so that you can see it knowing I won't flood anywhere again. This was because we could never see a rainbow before. It wasn't possible. It was too high up in the atmosphere just like this one that causes sunsets. We can't see that one. But we can see ones on the ground because the voltage is now lower than it was in the past which again confirms a higher atmosphere and an electrical water canopy. So. There we have it. There is a rainbow up there, we just can't see it due to the voltage. My name is Lee and I'm an engineer.